Hello fellow Admirals and welcome back to another Ultima Admiral Age of Sail. There's been a quite big update. Well it's back as build 2 basically is here. Which introduces the main part of it. Introduces um, the landing opera. A couple of landing operation scenarios into the early access game. Which will combine seaborne and land combat into one mission and there's two of those scenarios brought into the game and I'm going to play one of them start to play one of them today there's also a bunch of course as you might expect bug fixes and some changes to the combat mechanics especially for the ships after getting all their feedback from Backers Build 1. I'll put the full patch notes in the description below if you're interested in reading through it but today we're going to have a look at one of the battles so the two battles excuse me <coughs> got a frog in my throat the two battles we're going to have a look at today are or the what the two battles they've added rather are filthy smugglers and acting captain and today we're going to have a look at filthy smugglers so i've already had a couple of goes at this and failed on both occasions mainly due to getting my timings wrong because it's kind of one you have to time your attacks at the right time i think in order to be successful in this particular mission so let's have a look Latest reports have revealed a smuggler network. They collect loot from raids on British and Spanish settlements and ships. Then they deliver goods to mostly Spanish ports. We have strong indications that the network is directed by corrupted Spanish governors. Your mission is to attack one of the smugglers' lairs located in the area. Unfortunately, we cannot afford to assign more than two fully crewed brigs for this task. British settlers, however, who have suffered from the network activities are eager to support you. Sell one of the brigs to land her troops and join with the settlers arriving from the north for a decoy attack on the smugglers' outpost. When the smugglers, de de when the smugglers will move from their lair to support the outpost, sell the second brig to the south beach, land her troops and attack the unprotected base. Well, that's what I'll try and do. So... Gonna, the game will now, first of all, sets the scenario out for you. You are in command of a flotilla of two of His Majesty's ships on a mission to raid a smuggler's lair. HMS Helena is already approaching the operations area, while HMS Star is following from a distance. And then it will kind of zoom you around the map and tell you where you've got to go and what you've got to do. The lair is located at this position and is protected by a strong force of smugglers supported by unknown numbers of Spanish troops. A head-on attack would be costly and uncertain. A marine regiment has been sent to gather volunteers from our settlements and any piece of artillery available. They are expected to arrive soon at the area. Land the troops to of land the troops of Helena. Join with the settlers and launch a decoy attack on this outpost. We hope smugglers will send most, if not all, of their forces to protect the outpost. Okay, down to the outpost. The HMS Star will sail into sight. When smugglers respond as expected, sail the Star to this position, land her troops, attack the unprotected base, and capture any supplies found. Okay, let's try and do that then. Here's is the HMS Helena. The operation needs a successful combination of discipline, speed, and timing. Make heist, make haste, haste. I think that should say not heist. Make haste, Captain. Land your troops. Join with the settlers and attack the outpost. Let us begin. We'll sail our ship right down here, and we'll anchor it down there. I think I did an anchor. Yeah. By the way, I have to mention that this is still in very early access. There will be bugs, there will be things that change, there will be spelling mistakes, there will be grammatical errors. So, yeah, just bear all that in mind when we're playing through this particular scenario. It's not out on Steam just yet, this game. It will be out on early access, in, in early access, or on early access, in early access, on Steam, um, sometime in the coming few months. So we're going to be heading up here. Now, I've kind of tried this twice already and failed miserably. Basically, you get your uh, ship over here, which I'm going to speed up a little bit to make it get there a bit quicker. You unload your crew, meet up with a load of settlers and stuff, and assault here. Now, that went fine. And then I sailed my other ship around here, unloaded, took the settlement, and then all hell let loose as all the, all the armies from over here 
killed my armies over here they all came back and attacked me here and uh, I got completely destroyed so we're going to try and do a little bit better by getting our timings right this particular turn let's speed her up to top speed just to get this ship in position and unload our little dudes okay so we can expect lots of enemies and uh, some much higher powered enemies than we had in the last mission we played if you want to check back at that on that in a previous video so as soon as it gets close to my uh, anchorage site i'm going to slow it right down and unload our units from our ship okay let's slow her down and unload both our little units and we'll move over to the beaches my friends over to the beaches come on come on Wallace and basically you just grab your little ship your little boats and they'll row their way to the beach and drop off the units here they come so we're gonna be the Brits with the red coats and we're fighting against the smugglers and some Spanish units as well okay here they come let's speed her up just a little bit just a little bit now I'm not going to go rushing in so fast as I did last time because um, it kind of didn't didn't end too why is that ship following them that ship should be anchored now what I want is to kind of anchor the ship here so that its guns can kind of support us we're going to start moving Walker forward and we'll start moving Wallace forward as well Hopefully that ship will move over to there and anchor itself and support us with its um, with its cannons. And then we've spotted some skirmishers coming across, so we're going to try and get a shot on those guys, I think. And here we go, get a shot, some shots on those. Try to kill a few. They're only skirmishers, so they're kind of spotting for us, and then they're just going to basically run away, and we're going to have to just follow up a little bit. Our other units have arrived, so let's move them all forward. Again, I'm not going to run them. You can run them forward if you want, but it, used, it takes out, their, out of their condition, so I'm just going to kind of walk them forward. We've got plenty of time. That's kind of 2 hours 31 in-game time, not real time. Obviously, that ticks down a bit faster than that, and we have to complete the mission in that time. So this guy should stop and just provide us with some canones out there. And we're just going to continue to cross this river and see if we can spot those skirmishers while the rest of our dudes are catching us up. Now they have introduced a nice line of sight tool. Um, so basically the dark areas are lowlands and the lighter areas are higher lands as you can see. And if you click on a unit it will actually show you where it can see and where it can't see. That's fairly nice I think. So the ship is docking, but it's kind of spinning around a little bit, which I don't like. So hopefully it will just hold position as we move our walker can move into the bushes, as can Wallace. The rest of the guys should be bring coming up, which they are. Okay, let's just continue. Let's not go too crazy. I don't want to move too fast because I'm only going to make a friggin' mess of it if I do. We'll keep moving forward. I'm going to get a couple of these guys, probably a set of settlers, set of marines, over on this right flank. The rest will put up towards the centre. Ah, the ship's anchoring there quite nicely. So what we need to do is take this position. So I'm not going to push these guys up too far. I'm going to put Wallace up there and Walla up there as well. And then we're just going to wait for these guys to arrive. And I will speed it up just a little bit. Oh, there's some skirmishers. Took some took some shots from the ship there. Did you see that? That was quite nice. Bit of combined arms action. You're meant to be going over to that side, as are you, my friends. Keep moving. Crossing points just there. And then we're going to put a settler, set of settlers there and there. And these settlers are quite weak, by the way set up there and we're going to set our cannons somewhere maybe kind of here hopefully they'll be able to see the enemy there's going to be some enemy dug in here we're going to have to take that area over now Walla I think and Wallace can just check for things coming across there 
and put them right over to the edge and then the rest of these guys in fact we probably should have had some of the marines oh we have got a spot of some more skirmishers and some more skirmishers if we can see them there they are can you shoot them and not run into them please Walk Walla over a little bit. So they're just kind of scouting us out. We just need to do as much damage as we can while we can. I'll keep moving Walla forward. So these skirmishes are coming forward. So let's engage those first. Keep the settlers moving. In fact, I'm going to bring Wallace over here and put some settlers in that place and Walker because these are the better attack, better fighters really. So we'll get the settlers over there. So those skirmishes are off. Some smugglers there, field artillery, some more skirmishes over there. So let's get Walker kind of there ready to attack and Walla. And we're going to put the settlers over here. I think the settlers, are, I don't know if it's their weapons or what that aren't very good. Percussion rifles, Sea Service 38 percussion rifles. And these have got the same thing actually. So, yeah, although these have got, yeah, the same kind of thing. So let's try and do as much damage to those as we can. Move these settlers forward. We'll move these marines forward as well. Let's move up a little bit further before we move in for the kill. So let's move these settlers up to the edge here. So we can get a spot on these smugglers. I just want to keep an eye on these guys. I'm going to put them over to the edge there. Bring right. Walker around here a little bit. Those skirmishes are off again. They're off again. Okay, I'm nearly ready, I think, to make an assault. There's 60 smugglers there. The skirmishers are coming back again. We're just going to have another shot. So there's two sets of smugglers and an artillery piece right there. So this should come in range in a second. It's already in range of the settlers across there. They've routed? Are you serious? Like I say, they're just not very good. So let's move forward to try to take this position now there is our target the smugglers just there so we've got to make them route as soon as we possibly can I'm going to move these settlers forward a little bit the smugglers the skirmishers are off get these marines up right they've routed okay let's move forward take this position real quick I'm going to put some settlers in there hopefully these skirmishers aren't going to be able to retake that position I'm going to move these settlers up to here. And I, yes, let's bring this artillery up to help out. What's a nice position? Hmm, maybe over here somewhere. Get those artillery up. Come on, Artie, get over there. Okay, and then we're going to need to start... Oh, we've got to hold this for 24 in-game minutes. Okay, we've got to hold this position for 24 in-game minutes. And then we'll move on to the next section of the battle. So the smugglers are coming forward. Let's just move across here. These guys are flanked, really? You're facing the wrong friggin' way? Oh, wow, they're all coming in. They're all coming in. Oh, my God. Okay, hold. Hold. Right, okay. Oh, there's so many. There's so many. Don't know if I'm going to hold this. In fact, we've lost the position. Look, we've lost the position. So we're going to have to do it again. We've got skirmishes back here. It's not going well. Let's bring these guys back forward. Back forward? Is that a thing? Oh, why did they bring all their units so far forward? Okay, let's bring these settlers back across. We're going to have to come up with the marines as well. And we'll bring the settlers across as well. These settlers need to get back in the action. I mean, this might work to our benefit if they're all kind of going a bit crazy and rushing in too early. Let's hit these skirmishers. Okay, we've got it back. Let's get some units in there. We've got some smugglers in behind us. We'll let these settlers deal with them. We've got it back. We've got to hold it for another 28 now. Oh, my God. Let's just put some units on the edge here and on the edge here. All right, I don't know where all their units went. Oh, they've all been behind here. Let's get these settlers 
It's protecting our rear. And we're going to get Wallace up to the front line. Some skirmishes over there. The guns over there. Have we still got our guns? Our guns are in a... Oh, our, actually, our guns are in quite a nice position at the moment. Although I would quite like them... I've got to be careful not to get them flanked. Let's bring those guns up. Just leave Wallace back a little bit. Okay, I'm kind of happy at the moment. 21 in-game minutes to hold. Are they going to do another little rush? Honestly, I don't know where all their units went. I think there's something changed with the morale system <laughs> since they did the last update because these units seem to be breaking really, really easily. So I don't know whether it's the morale system that's up the spout at the moment or what. Because when the morale goes down, they kind of run away and they break very quickly and stuff like that. Which seems to be what's happened. And I'm just wondering if I can attack that field gun from a few different directions. If I can take it down or whether I'm just going to get completely destroyed here. Let's try it. Let's try it. We'll send the marines in as well. Oh, hello. What? Some units over there. We'll go and check out them out, Wallace. Send the marines up as well. We could do a charge. Now he's turning on... He's running. He is running away. Okay. Got some skirmishes at the back. Okay, let's chase. try and chase these guns down. In fact, these settlers are going to do a charge. Um, where's the charge button? I've forgotten. That one. It's changed. They've changed the symbol. Okay. <laughs> We'll charge in, see if we can destroy these guns, whilst taking some fire as well from our settlers. <coughs> oh, we're actually wavering. Are you serious? Oh, we've got it. We've got it. Got the guns. Okay, I'm not going to... I'm going to actually chase after this supply wagon. And... Shall I move the settlers down? Um, where are all my... Okay, I've got Wallace here, who I'm going to send down. I'm going to send my guns down. I've got two sets of settlers, so if I lo I've actually lost one of the sets of landing units that I had. I'm also, while I think about it, going to start sending this ship down over here. Okay, one in-game minute to hold. We're chasing the supply wagon, and yeah, that's cool. Okay, so now it moves on to the next section. Now it is time to sell your second bridge, brig, to this position, land her troops, and attack the smuggler's base. Right, so we've got another HMS something. Here it is. It's the HMS Star, which we need to move all the way down here. Anchor it somewhere near the near this. So we're going to anchor it about th there. And this other ship is going to come all the way up here. And eventually going to come round here. So this one's going to come down anchor here. And we're going to attack over to here. In the meantime... We're going to continue. Oh, look at all those dudes. Okay, get back. There's 120 Marines coming for us. We've got to hold this position. Because if we don't hold it, then I'm just wondering whether I should capture, capture us some more guns. I think I'm going to capture us some more cannons. Got a set of cannons here. Oh, skirmishes were pushed away there. I think the mistake I made in the last playthrough little playthrough that I did was I took this position but I ignored this position they took it back and then all their units flooded back but I think if I hold this position their units might stay trying to get this position if you kind of see what I mean we've got some smugglers coming in from there let's move these settlers back I just want to grab those guns so we've got two sets of cannons firing on them and then we're going to get these guys back in fact, I could happily run these back. We'll run them back. We'll get these guys back. Field artillery, we need to get back. And the Marines. I'm actually going to send the Marines over here. Oh, there's quite a few skirmishes hanging around down here. I just want, don't want them to get to my field artillery. So they're going to go back. Meanwhile, our ships are going to sail as rapidly as they possibly can to that position over at the back there. Oh, we're actually firing on those skirmishes. That was nice. Our settlers have routed yet again. We need these guys to get back and get themselves into some sort of a defensive position as soon as possible. We put that set of guns over there. 
Okay, these settlers I'm going to want just to protect over here. Some smugglers moving in. We'll take some shots at those, push them back. Marines are going to go over there. These settlers actually are going to go over there as well. And these guys are just going to go where they're going. I'll put some settlers over here. Just get them to walk. Now, are they still running? Yeah, we'll just get them to walk. Oh, in fact, that's double quick. Okay. How's our ships doing? They're getting there slowly. I could speed the game up. But I'm just being fairly kept. Why have you... What are you doing, ship? You're meant to be going. It's a bit... Sometimes the ships are a bit clunky in shallow water. Let's just put it like that. Okay, so they're still coming forward. I'm moving these off to the side. I'm going to move these down towards my base. Uh, down towards my base. Down towards the enemy camp down here. Okay. So this is going to last a little bit longer. So I'm going to end this episode here. I'm going to pause it. And uh, end the video here. But um, please do join me next time for the uh, exciting conclusion to this particular battle. When hopefully... We will complete it this time. So thank you all very much for watching. I'll see you next time. Consider subscribing and ringing the bell if you want to know when the next episode's up. Give me a like if you enjoyed this episode. And yeah, I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.